Hi, I'm Irving. Welcome AutoCAD Drafter. In this video, I'm going to show you the best AutoCAD commands to automate your work and save you a lot of time. So, let's get started. The very first command is to change your text from lowercase to uppercase or by verse in your entire drawing. So, for instance, here, so you can see that I have some texts that are lowercase and other ones that are uppercase. So for this, I'm going to use here the T case command. And in this case, I'm going to type all and press enter. As you can see here, we have many options. So in this case, I'm going to pick uppercase and then click OK. As you can see, all of my text now in this drawing are uppercase as I wanted it. So this is a very productive way to automate all of your text to either lowercase or uppercase. Okay, the next command is to send all of your hatches in your drawing to the back at once. So for example, here in this drawing, we can see that, that some of our hatches are in top of our text. So for this, we're going to use the hatch to back command or its shortcut HB and press enter. As you can see, all of your hatches were sent to the back automatically. And now your text can be written. So this is a way to automate how you move and interact with your hatches in AutoCAD. So let's go to the next command. Let's say for instance that these existing storefront doors and so on are not really existing and they are new so i don't want to change each word individually so let me use the find command i'll type existing here and i'll replace it by new make sure is in model space over here or you can say current space and then you can say replace all once you do that it says seven matches or objects found or change and you can click done as you can see the existing word in your text was changed for new and you didn't have to do it manually awesome Okay, the next command is to replace many blocks with a different block automatically. So let me show you here in this example, I want to replace all of these circular handicap currencies with this rectangular one. So for this, we're going to use block replace command. And we're going to click here, pick. I'm going to pick this circular block. And then I'm going to click again, pick. And in this case, I'm going to pick this other rectangular block. It says perch and reference items. I'll say Y for yes. And as you can see, your other blocks were replaced automatically in your entire drawing. This is a very automatic way to replace any of your blocks with a block that you wish okay the next command is to automate the way you use the frames or the way you turn off and on your frames in AutoCAD for instance in this drawing I added a really quick an image and a wipeout over here very simple but you can even have PDF and all the images and so on but the idea here is to automate your work by in this case by avoiding the use of many commands and do it all at once so for instance here if I want to turn off the image frame I'll have to use the command image frame and turn it back to zero as you can see there's no frame now and the same for the wipeout right 
wipe out frame and off and so on so i'm going to undo that and to change or turn off and on all of the frames of all of your objects in AutoCAD, you're going to use the frames and press enter you can see that both of your objects frames are now turned off so again if i type the frames again and press enter all of the frames of your objects are now turned on all at once so this is a very productive way to automate your work inside AutoCAD and again this will work for PDFs, images, all the objects, wipeouts and so on. So let's go to the next command and this command will help us send all of our text in a drawing to the front. So let me show you in this example again I have my text to the back of this hatch. To send all of our text to the front we're going to use the text to front command. So if I use it and say all, you can see that your text in your entire drawing was sent to the front so you can now read it. And again, this is a way to automate your workflow in AutoCAD. So the next command is for automating the rotation of your text or attributes in any drawings. So let me show you, in this example, I have all of these lighting blocks that have a text and specifically an attribute. So if I would like to rotate all of them at once to automate my work, I'll use this following command, T orient. And press enter. I'll click once, twice to specify my rotation and as you can see this is a very productive way to automate again your work so you don't have to do the same process every time. Okay let's now go to the next command and this command is gonna help us to avoid to save each of our drawing individually. So, so for example, here in this AutoCAD interface, I have three open drawings, as you can see. And what I want to do is save all of these drawings at once to automate my work. So I'm gonna use the save all command as you can see, AutoCAD is taking a little bit of time. And if you see here, so let's go to the next command. So let's say for instance that I'm in a hurry and I already work on these drawings and I want to close them. Instead of close them each drawing individually, I want to close them all at once, right? Because I want to automate my work. So for this, I'm going to use the following command, close all and press enter. As you can see, all of my open drawings were closed automatically. And this again is a very productive way to, you know, automate your work so you don't have to work harder. Now wait, what happened if you didn't want to close the current drawing that you were working on? So let's go back really quick. I'm gonna go to this drawing and I've been working on it and I want to keep working on it, but I'm not gonna use the rest of the other drones. So for this, I'm gonna use the following command. Close all other on presenter. As you can see, the drawing that I was working on and that I'm actually using it right now, stays open and the rest of the other drawings were closed automatically. Great, right? And again, this is another way to automate your work in AutoCAD. All right, let me know if this was useful or not. And if you want to join the Lazy Architecto team, simply subscribe and turn off the bell notification. By the way, did I miss any command for automation?